In this video we will examine a couple of aspects of the Kennedy assassination, using logic and probability. Part 1. Zapruder's Position Let's look at the place where Abraham Zapruder chose to position himself while filming. Abraham Zapruder said he wanted to film the JFK Motor Parade from his office in the Daltex building, but his secretary advised him to go down to the street. As we can see, most people who wanted a view of the parade, lined up along the street. Zapruder chose to stand on the pergola pillar. Zapruder purchased one of the best cameras made at the time. And he had his secretary brace him as he filmed to make sure his film stayed steady. Why would Zapruder choose to stand here? The view from the camera was partially obstructed by the freeway sign. The most relevant view would be directly in front of him, coincidentally where the assassination happened. If Zapruder would have stood on the sidewalk, like other people did, he would have had an unobstructed view of Kennedy progressing down the street. Zapruder's position was a good place to be while filming and avoiding flying bullets. Part 2. Shots from the Depository This is a photo of Kennedy allegedly looking back after a gun was fired. It is said the first shot missed the car completely. If Kennedy would have hit the floor after the first or second shot, the entire assassination would have been thwarted. This was not a professional assassination. Logically, this tells us one of two possibilities. A. Either the Warren Commission was correct that Lee Harvey Oswald acted alone. Or B. Oswald started firing before Kennedy reached the kill zone. Theory A, has the problem that the assassination was carried out in front of Zapruder. As Zapruder seemed to expect. Logic tells us that 24-year-old Oswald wanted to claim the credit for the assassination. And started firing early. People witnessed gunshots from his window and saw someone standing there with a rifle. After the assassination, Oswald was supposed to fire one shot, after the limo passed Umbrella Man. The Secret Service agent in Kennedy's car described a flurry of bullets entering the vehicle. By Oswald firing early, and firing multiple shots, his conspirators could not defend him. Oswald made a patsy of himself. This also explains why Oswald did not fire at Kennedy on Houston Street. The limo had to make the turn to enter the kill zone, if Oswald fired while JFK was on Houston Street. The driver might have drove in a different direction. Part 3, Probability What is the probability that Zapruder's filming of the assassination was an accident? He was standing up high, in a safe area, with a limited field of vision with a top-of-the-line camera, while being braced by his secretary to take a steady film. Abraham Zapruder was a 33rd-degree Freemason, with a high rank of Inspector General. Orville Nix, who filmed from the opposite side, was friends with the head of the Secret Service in Dallas. Here is the last frame of the Zapruder film. Zapruder told the Warren Commission that he knew guns were being fired. But Zapruder didn't look around, didn't jump, didn't move his eyes from the viewer. He kept the camera steady and followed the limo until the car was no longer visible. As if the film was going to be very valuable, 